continuing here with another edition of Central School Book Talks. I have some more wonderful books to share with you. All of these books are books on the Blue Stem list for 2019. So remember, we want to make sure that you're able to vote for your favorite Blue Stem book, which means you have to have read at least four of the nominated books. All right, let's find out what our books are today. First up, I have Game Changer, John McLendon and the Secret Game written by John Coy. Now this book is an awesome, wonderful book. I really, really loved it. It talks about how John McLendon set up this secret basketball game between Duke University and one of the Negro colleges. This was during a time when blacks and whites weren't allowed to interact with each other and they definitely were not allowed to play basketball with each other. The coaches set up the secret game and they ended up playing basketball and finding out that, you know what, it doesn't matter if you're black or white. Boys can still bond playing basketball together. And everyone kept this huge secret. The players even had to drive to the gym in a car with blacked out windows so no one could see who they were. When they got out of the cars, they had to throw coats over their heads so nobody could see who it was sneaking into the gym to play basketball wonderful book. I really think you're going to love this one. After that, I have A Handful of Stars by Cynthia Lord. Now in this book, on the cover, we have Lily's dog. Okay. Lily is a girl who lives in Maine and she loves her dog more than anything. She and her best friend are starting to grow apart a little bit, but one day Lucky runs off and Lily has to go chase her down when she's chasing her down trying to catch Lucky again, Lily meets this wonderful girl named Salma. Now Salma is actually a Mexican and she travels around the United States with her family working on different farms. So Salma and Lily end up making an unusual friendship and they try to figure out where they both fit into the world. Great story about friendship. After that, I have a nonfiction biography for you. This is called I Descent. Ruth Bader Ginsburg Makes Her Mark, written by Debbie Levy. This is the story of Ruth Bader Ginsburg and how she grew up and became the, one of the first female Supreme Court justices and how she made her mark on a world when most people thought women shouldn't be doing the things that Ruth wanted to do. Now I have Moo, written by Sharon Creech. This is a story about Rena and her little brother who end up moving to Maine. Now, when they think of Maine, they think of lighthouses and lobster and all these wonderful things, but they end up moving to a town and their parents make them volunteer to help this old lady who's just weird. And she has a cow for a pet. So that's where the story Moo by Sharon, Sharon Creech comes into play. Rena and her little brother have to go to this lady's house and help take care of this cow. And they end up deciding that they're going to enter it into the county fair. So they have to learn how to walk it, brush it, and really take care of Moo. And they form an unusual friendship with this older woman who at first they think is really pretty mean. It's a great story about friendship too. Now, next up is Ms. Bixby's Last Day by John David Anderson. This is a great story about school. It's a little sad in a way because Ms. Bixby is very sick. She has cancer. Everyone in the class is very sad to see her go, but they planned a huge party for her on her last day of school. Unfortunately, Ms. Bixby gets sicker and is going to have to go into the hospital before her last day of school. These three boys you see peeking in the window here have decided they can't let Ms. Bixby get away without saying goodbye and having her party. So they decide that they're going to sneak out of school to give Ms. Bixby her last day of school party. And they wanna give her some special treats and presents that they had planned for anyway. Those pleasant presents include Ms. Bixby's favorite cheesecake, which they have to figure out how to get the $30 to buy and a bottle of wine, but how are these little kids gonna be able to get that too for Ms. Bixby? 
let alone sneak across town to the hospital and see her. It's a great adventure and you're going to find out why each of these three boys really loves their teacher. Last book I want to tell you about today is Project Mulberry by Linda Sue Park. Now this is another story about friendship. In this story, Julia Song and her friend Patrick are working together on a project, kind of like a 4-H project for their county fair. And Julia wants it more than anything to just be a regular old American project. But Patrick really just wants something interesting. And they end up deciding to raise silkworms. Now, Julia is Korean, but she just wants to be thought of as an American. She's afraid that this project is a little too Korean and not American enough, and that the kids will think she's kind of weird for what she's doing. It's a great project that talks about friendship and trying to just be yourself. I hope you like these books that I've talked to you about today. Maybe one of them will be the next book you can find in the library. All of our Blue Stem books are in the library. Make sure you've read four so that way you can vote come February or March. Happy reading, everybody.